Good evening, good evening, good evening, you beautiful people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Shani Talks. Obviously, we're in a different different location. And um, you know how we do it. You know how I do it. I try to go every week. I'm sorry that I'm late, y'all. I'm sorry I'm late. But I'm doing it. So we're here. I'm in Colorado. <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. I don't think y'all have ever seen me with a hat on before. Um, <clears throat> but it's... I don't, I don't know. Like, I know that I'm super lucky and everything works out for me. Like, I believe that wholeheartedly in my heart. I am super lucky. And literally, everything works out for me. And I believe that. I repeat that on the daily, several times a day. Because, you know, it's hard. It's hard to change, change your mentality and change your life. It's really difficult. But that's why we got to do it every day. Believe it till you achieve it, baby. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so in Colorado, uh, since we got here, it's literally been single digit temperatures and negative degree temperatures. <laughs> and, uh, for all y'all who know, uh, I live in the desert. I live in the desert and it gets like maybe 30 degrees and I've been in the desert for the last three years and that's cold for me. Honestly, that's cold for anybody. 30 degrees is literally below freezing because freezing is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So <clears throat> it <laughs> like we got off the plane and I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Okay, no problem. Whatever. Didn't have my winter coat on yet. So I like went through the airport, was waiting in the airport. And as soon as I got there, we go outside and I just take a breath and I'm like, <laughs> I'm choking literally like the ice fucking came down my throat and just fucking froze my whole windpipe like you know in Game of Thrones or um yeah I'm gonna say mostly Game of Thrones you know when the fucking White Walkers are coming and it's just fucking winterizing like oh, as it's happening bro <laughs> that's how it was like in my fucking throat you know when you're eating minty gum <laughs> and then you drink cold water and you're like <gasps> that that's all these temperatures are right now it's super super fun <laughs> i've seen so many car crashes so many cars broke like broken down on the road uh so many tow trucks so much traffic when there's when there shouldn't be like super super slowness on the road then they're just going one mile per hour and it's like bro come on i know it's snowy but like drive your fucking car bro you got a fucking jeep you got a subaru drive that car it's meant for this you know what i mean like mm. oh. and um and it just it makes me really really grateful i'm not gonna lie for living in the desert oh my god i was wondering why my light looks different oh my god even, even more beautiful look at that <laughs> sorry y'all this is this is why this is I have a paper, but we're really struggling. We're really struggling. I don't even know if you heard any of that because I have the microphone down. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. What the fuck am I doing? Anyways, I came to Colorado um, because one of my really, like, best, best friends, longtime friends, um, is having a little baby. <laughs> a little human in their body. And so we went to go celebrate her um, and her man and her new baby, new baby boy. Elise, I love you. Shout out. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's really nice because like, I just have a very, very minimal amount. And when I say very minimal now, it's very, very minimal amount of like actual real like friends that have been with me through many chapters in my life. And this girl's one of them. She's just been in my life for freaking I don't even know now it's been a long 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 time at least it's more than six years I don't know I don't know it's been a long time six years at least six but I'm grateful and thankful you know that I've still like been able to maintain a few of these friendships you know and like 
So anyways, yeah. So I went to her baby shower and it was super fun and it was super cold and we had to drive super far. And I think that's weird because in, in Vegas where I live, like driving to the other side of town is maybe 40 minutes. And that's like from the very Southwest point to like the very Northeast point of the city, like all the way around. Like that's maybe 40 minutes at the long, maybe an hour at the most, if there's like a lot of weekend traffic or whatever, but like, bruh, that's it. That's how long it takes to get anywhere here in Colorado. And like, oh, what the fuck, bro? Like, you know, for, driving 40 minutes is not bad, but like everywhere you go is 40 minutes. Ugh, man. Little, little victories, little things that I'm just grateful for. But so came for the friendships, came for, came for the friendships. <laughs> it's fucking on paper. <laughs> came for the baby shower um and um may like sorry at least but mainly i came to see queen herbie um queen herbie's gonna be here on wednesday and i am just like <gasps> just so so excited so excited she's been my favorite artist for the last like four years and i went to see her one other time with like a secret pop-up show that i won tickets to that i drove like I don't know, fucking nine hours, 10 hours round trip to like go and see her in California from Vegas. And it was just like amazing. So like, ooh, I am, uh, to say the very least, I am excited for this concert because she's just such a bad bitch, you know? And if you ain't listening to Queen Herbie, you need to get on it because she's empowering. She's freaking awesome. She's so bad. She's poppy. She's rap, ba rap bad bitch. Like, oh, ooh, I fucking love it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. And I got an outfit, not an outfit. I got a top that's going to be with the rest of the clothes that I got. Oh, I'm just so, so pumped, so ready. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's mainly what I'm here for because... I bought these tickets back in October. I even want to say it might have been September, but it, I think it was October. So it's been a long time coming, Miss Queen. I can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you. Um, I didn't bring my water bottle with me. And I know people normally travel with those, but like, I just get nervous. And what if I forgot it? then I'd be even more mad. You know what I mean? Like, so I just got to leave it at home so I can just trust it. Um, weird thing that came up today. You know, someone said that if you have to go to therapy as a couple, you shouldn't be with that person. And that kind of got me thinking, but it was an old head who said it. So I didn't try to like take it with too much of a grain of salt because I fucking believe in therapy. I'm all down for therapy. Like, a lot of times we cannot fix our problems by ourselves. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of trauma and really weird, like deep seated issues that a lot of us have. And especially a lot of us, like in my age range, the millennial age range, like we've seen a lot of really like crazy traumatizing shit in just our lifetime, just in terms of like crazy world ending events just in my lifetime, you know, like, and so, um, it's like, it's hard to like put it in different perspectives of like, you know, of other ways to like thinking of, I could, of you can help myself, like you can help yourself. And I can't really think of any like good examples, um, that will like be as strong as just like mental health because it's just like no matter what we think that's not stuff that we can fix on our, on our own we can try but it definitely helps to have like outside perspective so i don't know anybody who has ever been mentioned like hey bro have you thought about going to therapy have you thought about going to therapy i don't know if you have but you should um just because it can be really helpful. And if you can't afford therapy, like sometimes I can't, um, what I'll do is I will press the voice memo and just record myself 
um, talking at people or like asking somebody for advice or like just ranting and like letting out all my frustrations about, you know, my friendship or my partner or whatever. Like it sounds weird, but like if you record yourself and you have this recording of you just like letting it out, it feels like really good and it's like a really nice release and you don't have to necessarily like you know listen back to it I haven't listened to any of the ones that I've done and I feel like if I did I'd be embarrassed and ashamed like oh my god bitch is what you're crying about get over it you know but like in the moment it's it's heavy you know what I mean so just like let it out just let it out go and talk to somebody talk to yourself on your voice memos but like let it out. Do not hold it in. <laughs> uh, one of the things, too, that just kind of came up is just that, like, I don't know, you can't expect people to react and, like, do things the way that you would do things. And I think that that is something that I really struggle with because I'm just like, but I would never do this. I would never think about that. Like, why would this person do that? You know what I mean? And, like, because they're that person because they're their own person and they have their own thoughts and feelings and like emotions and like consciousness. You know what I mean? It's not like they're not just a non-player character in your fucking universe. You know what I mean? Like we can't expect people to do the things that we would do for them or to act in a certain way that we know that we would act towards them or to, you know, carry themselves in one way or another. Like we can't expect other people to, 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 to be like us. You know what I mean? We can, we can definitely search for people that are like us and try to help. Um, like <laughs> words, 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 words. <laughs> it's like shiny things. I don't know what I was saying, <laughs> uh, but we can't expect people to just, you know, do what we, we would do. You know what I mean? Like, but I would, I would never do that. So why would you do that? It's like, you know, they whole other situation going on. I remember when I was young, I don't know how old I was, but I remember just kind of stopping and asking my little sister, like, do you have your own like thoughts and feelings and stuff? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, like what? <laughs> you know? And she's like, what do you? what are you talking about? And I'm like, well, like, I don't, and you know, I, I was young. And so we were both young. So I mean, obviously old enough to comprehend this conversation, but like, I just remember like asking her, like, do you have your own, like, you know, like thoughts and, <laughs> and feelings and stuff? And she's like, yeah, do you? And I was like, yeah. So like, why don't I know what yours are? Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I don't. What do you mean you have your own actions and thoughts? I thought you just acted the way that you do in my universe. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and so, like, I don't know. I don't even know why I brought that up. I just thought it was just like a weird, weird little thing that happened when I was younger. I've been hanging out with a lot of kids this weekend, obviously, because I'm going, I'm, I'm visiting family and whatever. Um, but it's just like it's so weird to like just see these little humans like growing up and like seeing humans that literally did not exist when I started in this relationship and like they just have become walking talking just little people that just have their own thoughts and feelings and personalities and emotions and like attitudes and just like what like it's so, it's so surreal. It's so surreal. And that is like, it always comes back to like, this life is so short, you guys. This life is literally so short. So like, why are we so comfortable being miserable? Or why are we so comfortable with settling for like, oh, you know, I'm getting 80% of my needs met, but like, I could, there could be 20% more, but I know what else is out there. And I would only get 60% if I left this 80%. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to even go for it. I'm not even going to try for it. 
but it's just like we all literally could die tomorrow so why aren't you going to be living the life that you want to live why don't you want to be doing the things that you want to do and seeing the people that you want to see and saying the things that you want to say and 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 living the life that you want to live like why do you do we all keep coming up with all these excuses It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like. <laughs> there's no. Reason to. To just be sitting and living a life that you don't want to live. And if you've ever like sat there and thought to yourself like, damn, like I wish I had that person's life or like, man, why is my life so hard? And it's like, because you make it that way, bro. You make it that way. As weird as it is, as weird as it is to say, as weird as it is for me to say that, like you choose your own path, literally, literally. So if you are freaking... broke and miserable and just sick all the time and not enjoying yourself that's on you it's literally on you and it's hard it's really hard to find a different path and to make more money and to find a good relationship but like you attract what you put out you attract what you're putting out so be a magnet for the things that you want in your life. Be the energy that you want to receive. And when you say, oh, I am doing the energy I want to receive. I work two jobs at minimum wage. No, bro, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Don't sacrifice your whole fucking life for $20. Whatever the fuck. Like, come on, bro. Do better. Be better. You, you're, you're worth more than that. So you need to see that. You need to open your eyes. You need to wake up and just be like, bro, ain't nobody going to fix this but me. Ain't nobody going to fix this life but me. What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Anyways, sorry for that extreme close up. I know no one wanted to see that. Anyways, um, I'm going to go now. Love y'all. I'm going to catch you next time on the next Shanty Talks. I'll be back at home. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we're just, we're doing it, y'all. We're doing it. We're making baby steps every day. And all we can do is literally just try to be better to move forward. So it's like, what what's stopping you? Today's the day. If you're watching this at night, tomorrow's the day. <laughs> I love you. I um, hope you all have a great week. I'm going to catch you next time.